This is pretty cool. Glad we're going to be getting a chance to check it out. Uh, the latest in our series, Tracking Your Taxes, today. We're looking at a controversy involving this huge military construction project way out in the ocean, Hawaii. The Defense Department's move of a key base from Japan to Guam and a Democratic congressman from Hawaii wants a majority of the construction jobs going to workers in Hawaii. What's the big deal with that? Uh, William Lajeunesse is tracking that from L.A. with the details. What is the big deal, William? Well, but you know, an electrician on Guam makes about $14 an hour. In Hawaii, they make 40 A local bricklayer, 12 In Hawaii, 35 Now, as a taxpayer, which would you rather pay? Over Pentagon objections, Congressman Neil Abercrombie from Hawaii prefers the more expensive union scale. It is not good for Guam. It is not good for Guamanians, and it is not good for the nation. It's the largest military construction project in decades, moving the U.S. Marine base in Japan to the island of Guam, a U.S. territory in the South Pacific. The five-year project will require an estimated 15,000 workers, many of whom would normally be locals or neighboring islanders. I'm going to run for governor and bring hope and change to Washington Place. But why Congressman Neil Abercrombie amended the 2010 Military Appropriations Bill to require 70 percent of those jobs go to Americans, so workers would have to be flown in from nearly 4,000 miles away, housed on the island, and paid at Hawaii's prevailing wage more than double Guam's. You're going to eventually incre cause an increase in taxes, which is going to be felt by everybody. Critics point out that Abercrombie's amendment benefits Hawaii's labor unions, whose support he needs in his run for governor. Whatever the reason, it's a lot of tax money. One question to ask is, should the entire country be, uh, be paying 10 or 15 billion dollars more for this project that is intended to benefit a state that already has a relatively low unemployment rate? Now, Abercrombie has been in Congress for about 18 years. Unions have given him about $600,000 in the last 10 years, Bill. He needs their continued support in this tight race for governor. This issue now goes to Congress, where it will be resolved in committee. Wow, Bill? who knew? Thanks, William. William Lajeunesse, tracking your taxes from Los Angeles.